So what did you say at the beginning of your YouTube video to hook your audience? Well, to keep your audience watching your videos until the very end, there is one simple thing you need to do, and that's implementing the hook. But what the heck is a hook and what are you supposed to say in one? Well, in this video, I'm breaking down exactly what a hook is and how to use it at the beginning of your YouTube video to have your audience staying until the very end of your videos. Plus, if you wanna learn how to use the hook to help you rank your videos in YouTube search, make sure you stay until the end of this video because I'm gonna tell you. First off, let's talk about the importance of having a really strong hook at the beginning of your video. Your hook is the very first impression that your viewer has about you, about your brand, and about your topic. So it's important to make it count. We all have really short attention spans. So when someone clicks on your video with an expectation, according to the title that you chose for your video, they want to know that their problem or whatever it is that they've come to your video for is going to be solved right away. Otherwise, they're going to click off and move on to the next video that came up in search results. This means that you're gonna to want to explain what your video is about right at the beginning just like I did in this video, right? As soon as you clicked on, I told you exactly what I was gonna cover. So now that we've covered what a hook is, what are some great hook ideas? Let's cover six together. The first one is to pose a compelling question. By beginning your video with a question, you're really piquing their interest right away. The goal is to have them thinking to themselves, yeah, I have thought that before, or yeah, that is a problem that I'm dealing with. This immediately draws them into your video and wants them to solve that initial question that they had in their mind. Number two is to start with a shocking statistic. For example, I could have started this video with the hook of, did you know that the average person's attention span is only eight seconds? That's a compelling statistic that would draw the viewer into the video to want to learn more and learn the explanation around that statistic. Number three is to share a personal story. We all love stories. In fact, it's the most effective way of communication for us as humans. Sharing stories that relate to the concept that you're trying to teach or by using stories as an analogy for what you're trying to teach allows your viewer to connect with you and also makes your content a lot more sticky and a lot more memorable. For example, I could have started this video by sharing a story something like this. The biggest lesson I learned about hooking my audience from my six-year-old self. And then I could have gone on to explain the story of what I learned when I was six years old and how I commanded the room and hooked my audience while on stage. Number four is you can begin with a teaser. This means providing a sneak peek into what the video is going to cover. This is what I did at the beginning of this video. I said what the topic was about and then I gave you a little bit of a sneak peek into what we were gonna be covering and then what I was going to be sharing with you at the very end, right? That sneak peek that I was talking about. Number five is making a bold statement or a thought reversal statement. This means either challenging the status quo, going against something that may seem normal out there or an opinion that is widely accepted out in your industry, or it could mean a thought provoking statement, which could be sharing something with the audience that would intrigue them to think differently than they currently do. For example, a hook for myself could be something like, everything you know about creating video content is wrong. Let me tell you why. And then I would continue to go in and explain why what they think about creating video content is wrong. Do you see what I mean there? You're shifting their thoughts and the beliefs around the topic that you're talking about. This type of hook is amazing for authority building. And it's something I challenge you to try in your own business. Finally, number six is to start with a challenge. For example, are you ready to start creating video content in less than two hours per month? This grabs their attention, gives them motivation, and allows them to verbally agree in their head, making them want to continue to watch the rest of the video to understand what this challenge entails. So I would love to know which of these six hook ideas do you think would work best for your business? Let me know in the comments below. And if you use one of these hooks in a video that you create, make sure to tag me at Wandermate Creative. I would love to see the videos that you come up with.
So now that you know some really amazing hook ideas, what else do you need to say at the beginning of your YouTube video? You've hooked them in, right? They're ready to watch your content, but how do you transition after your hook into the rest of your content, into the meat and potatoes, if you will? Well, there are a couple key things that I like to do here as well. Number one is to introduce yourself. Now, some people like to introduce themselves in their videos and some people don't. So this is completely personal preference. I personally like to sprinkle this into a couple videos here and there, but not every single one of my videos. The key when you're introducing yourself is you wanna make it short and fast. Really, you're just providing credibility here into who you are and what you do. So think of something like your I help statement. Number two, you want to ask for engagement. The reason for this is because you want to send signals to YouTube that your video is engaging and that people are liking your content. So the best way to do this is to ask your viewers to engage, to comment, ask them a question, to like your video, to subscribe. You can sprinkle these in throughout your videos, but I always like to do a really quick one at the beginning or or in that transition before you move into the bulk of your content. Number three is to provide more value outside of your video. And by this, I mean telling them that they can learn more from you in a certain way, whether that's a masterclass, a webinar, a free download in the description below, whether that's an offer you have going on, whatever it is that you're promoting or your strategy is for moving people off of YouTube and onto something else, is what you want to do here. Provide extra value of how they can learn even more from you. So once you have the hook and you've added in these three elements, now you can transition perfectly into the bulk of your content. So far in this video, we've covered what a hook is, hook ideas for the beginning of your videos, and what else to say at the beginning of your videos to transition into the bulk of your content. But I promised you one more tip that will allow you to rank your videos better in YouTube search. And that's by saying your keywords or phrases right at the beginning of your video. If you can include them in the initial hook of your video, even better. For example, at the beginning of this video, you may have noticed that I said, do you want to learn what to say at the beginning of your YouTube videos? Because those are the keywords that I'm trying to rank for in this video. So think about the keywords that you're wanting to include in your video and how can you incorporate them in the hook or in the beginning of your videos. If you're not sure how to do keyword research for your business, make sure to click the link below to learn more about my group coaching program, Video Marketing Accelerator. Inside, I show you exactly how to do keyword research for your business and how to incorporate it into your overall YouTube and marketing strategy to bring you in leads on autopilot. So the reason that you wanna do this is because YouTube not only checks your title and your description for keywords, but its bots actually look at what you're saying in your videos themselves. So try adding this little hack and see how it helps your videos rank. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share this video on your social media channels and tag me at Wanderman Creative. We'll see you next week. Bye.